Greetings, dear, beautiful, precious soul that you are. How about this? How about if we let our, what would you say? If we let our state of being as harmonious with the divine determine then our reality. You know, it's, it's, it's actually envy is a disease of humankind who have, have been infected with the mind virus that fakes the true divine because we don't, we don't call it a mind, it's just we don't need, we don't fracture ourselves. We're all whole, complete, and perfect, you see. All functioning on all levels. On, yeah, this is us. Shh, beyond all. Okay. So when we get fractured and we do the virtual reality, the one of the, 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 um, the you know, the based on the numbers and, and the letters and the, the suffering and the opposites and the this and the, all this, this was where everything becomes very complicated. Uh, very confusing, very disturbing, always new troubles to be solved by the new thing and the new this and the what da, da da Getting people further and further and further away from the real satisfaction, the real pleasures, the real joy of being that they long for, you see, and in the heart. And to me, like the key is be there now and this is my my newest that's uh, out soon be there now because when you you look ahead to where you want to be most of that's coming from the past of your memory of either what you've done you'd like to do it again what others did what you thought about hoped for told was possible, anything like, well, if I could only do that, or that would be it. Now you're looping. Because in the divine, you've never done it before. That, that's hard to conceive for the mind that's finite, because it can't. It can only perceive from the heart and the knowing, and that's why you can't prove your God to anybody else. And so they're going to say, well, and then you have to ask people when they said, God said, which God, who's God, what, what's the, where God, you see, and what does that mean, you see. So these, so for me, what I look at is in using my treatment, in using my words to bring me to a state of consciousness, then what the key, the key is, to give yourself those opportunities to be quiet, to be with yourself, to tune into the earth, to breathe, to bring that oxygen and people that can't sleep and everything is because the mind is controlling them. And you're not a mind, you have a mind and it's not your mind. You don't need one, you are all knowing. You go, well, you're triply, you're insane, oh, probably, but sane from within, you see? Yes, with the truth, we've been so believing in lies that however they're being conjured up, that when we hear the truth, it seems impossible. But the miserable existence of death and dying and loss, that's real. So then we fear it, we believe it. We give it power, we give it manifestation, blah, blah. You cannot it, we, stop manifesting that way. When you go to your heart and what's there, and you want to bring forth that which makes a difference and helps others, that which allows you to live the lifestyle that's nurturing for you, could be by that lake or that stream and the fresh air and the garden, start where you are. Build a garden right now in your living room, you see. Start creating that environment, wherever you are, that supports how you want to be, and be there now, you see. And as you do that, you build the consciousness, and consciousness manifests, you see.
さあいい手で。